Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at the properties of a rectangle. Before we do that, let me throw up here the diagram that I have. Okay, a uh, rectangle falls in the family under parallelogram, and if it's a parallelogram, it's also a quadrilateral. So it's a branch off of a parallelogram. And so the properties, a rectangle has every property that a parallelogram has. So let's review those properties. Here they are. The opposite sides are congruent, meaning the same length. Opposite angles are congruent. Opposite sides are parallel. And the adjacent angles are supplementary. So a rectangle has all those properties plus a couple more. So let's mark the diagram up to represent all those properties. Okay, the opposite sides are congruent. So A, G, A, and E, M have the same length. And I'll actually put numbers there. This side's three and then that side's three. And AM is congruent to GE. These two sides are congruent, so we'll give that one a 5 and that one a 5. So you can see the opposite sides are congruent. You can also see the opposite angles are congruent. And this is where the rectangle is different. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Opposite angles are congruent to each other. The opposite sides are also parallel, meaning GA, this side is parallel to EM, and AM, this side, is parallel to GE. So they're also parallel to each other. And then the adjacent angles, the angles that are next to each other are supplementary. 90 plus 90, that adds to 180. So we can see that the two angles that are next to each other are, again, yes, absolutely, supplementary. Now, the rectangle has a couple extra properties. They do have all the properties of a parallelogram, but they also have the four right angles that distinguishes it as a rectangle. And the diagonals have two special properties too. The diagonals are congruent to each other. So if we draw lines across from corner to corner, that's the diagonal, those two diagonals will be congruent, and I'll draw it on the other one. And then the diagonals also bisect, forming pairs of congruent triangles. So let me show you that concept there, okay? So if I draw a diagonal from A to E, I say AE, that segment is equal to GM. Those two segments are congruent to each other, so the diagonals are the same length. Also, they bisect each other. So all four of these are actually congruent to each other. And as you can see, we've got pairs of congruent triangles. The triangle A, M, and then to the center, let's call that C for center, AMC, this top triangle is actually congruent to GCE, this bottom triangle, and then these two triangles on either side are also congruent to each other. So ACG, this triangle over here, I'm going to shade in in black, is congruent to CECM, this triangle over here. So those are all the properties of rectangles. I hope this video was helpful.